What's up guys, today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can professionally color grade your music videos. Let's go. My name is Devin Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today, as you can tell, we're here at the beautiful campus of UCLA. Let's go Bruins! Wow, that is some campus pride. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can color grade your S-Log video. Color grading is one of the most important, crucial aspects of film production. And especially if you're shooting a music video, you don't want no ass color grading. Before we dive into today's tutorial, if you guys are new to this channel, and if you're looking to spice up your video edits, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. There, we are seriously spilling all the sauce. At 11percent.net, we're constantly dropping preset packs. We have preset packs ranging from our title preset cards all the way to Lightroom presets. The packs are absolutely insane, and they're super easy to use. Literally just drag and drop onto your video effects, and boom, you have insanely spicy videos. Matter of fact, we just dropped our new paint stop motion preset pack super easy to use probably one of my favorite edits to use right now and it can just help you really create some dope authentic paint animation stop motion effect it's really dope that's how you support me you know being a student here at UCLA type stuff but anyways without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial all right guys so now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro look at this here in the beautiful campus of UCLA I'm here with my good engineering friend Santi Yasumaru and we're gonna teach you how to color grade hey when I say Bruins you say go. Oh, fuck. Bruins. Go. Bruins. Go. Yeah. Y'all are going to love it here. All right, guys. So now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, right here, we have three clips loaded up. All this shot in S-Log RAW. If you are shooting on a different camera, if you're shooting on Blackmagic, if you're shooting on Canon, there are different RAW formats. But particularly this video, we're going to focus on Sony cameras. But I am going to be starting off base with some S-Log downloadable format, color grading formats that you can use and download for free off of the Sony website. Completely free, super easy to use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my window. I'm going to hit Window tab. I'm going to hit Workspaces. And I'm going to change this panel to the color panel okay so now that we're inside of the color panel the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the drop down on this creative tab right here this nice little creative tab and I'm gonna change this creative from none to our s log formats I'm gonna link down below in the description where you can download these s log formats s log LUTs might I add they're completely for free download off the Sony website super easy just easy way to get head start on color grading I'm gonna go ahead and apply our s log rec 709 because I personally think that is one of the most brightest and already off the bat immediately you can see it really bumped up the color just a lot of the, the vibrant contrast of our image and it makes everything look and feel a lot more alive but there's still a lot of areas we can improve on so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm of course gonna go ahead and bump up our contrast and our shadows and contrast is just going to our basic color correction and just increasing the contrast the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our curves and I'm going to create what's called an s curve okay so s curves if you don't know what are what they are they're basically a great way to help increase the contrast but also still preserve the milkier less dark dark hard contrast and colors of film look we're going to come over here and we're going to use our pen tool i'm going to create a nice little s shape i'm going to hit on this bottom left corner i'm going to drag it down just a tad bit on our top right hand corner i'm going to drag it up a little bit just a very little bit and then on our top 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 right corner i'm going to drag this down a little bit and on the bottom corner i'm going to drag it up a little bit already off the bat it's making things feel a lot more defined and a lot more crisp yes we still have a very very bright overall image but if you want you can just drag the middle point down or up to to increase that that exposure and if worse comes to worse you can always come to your basic color correction and just decrease the highlights basically the reason why we don't like to use basic color correction because it's a very destructive way of color grading and you can't really bring things back once you've applied them exit out of our basic color correction and go back to our creative okay I'm gonna be going for a nice little orange and teal look the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my shadow tint to a little bit more orange and then we're gonna leave our highlight tint just the same already off the bat we're having a pretty good color grading process so far we have managed to bump these colors up a lot but now let's move on to the second clip let's say you don't want to use those s-log let's say you're not shooting on sony you don't have those s-log presets that are going to perfectly apply to your footage based off of the picture profile why because you're not shooting on a sony camera well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to our creative and we're going to once again create this nice little s-log this s-curve color grading tab right here it's a really easy way to just basically get the contrast right now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here to my hue versus saturation and i'm just going to rise this whole bar just a bunch i'm going to come right here and i'm going to select my eyedropper tool and i'm going to select the brick color right here on our screen you're going to see it just created three new dots on our hue saturation tab this middle dot right here this red i'm going to bump up 
and I'm gonna drag this up so I can increase these reds and have a little bit more brighter orange. That's a great way to mess around and specify with certain colors that you need to bump or certain colors that you need to drop. You can always use this eyedropper tool and mess around with the hue slash saturation. The rest of these other effects and control panels right here, I'm not really gonna mess around with too much. It's just preferred looks. I'm gonna come right back here to my creative. I'm gonna go back to my shadow tint and I'm just gonna bump this shadow tint a little bit more to the orange side. And then lastly, of course, I'm gonna come back here to my basic color correction and drop my highlights just a tad bit. And boom, already there off the bat, we have a nice little orange and teal tint. One of the last color grading methods is LUTs, purchasing and buying LUTs. Right now, I'm gonna be dropping for a limited time a link to three orange and teal LUTs that you can download for your camera LUTs. They're, they're really great. They're honestly one of my favorite orange and teal LUTs that I can apply to my video effects. This one right here, I honestly don't know where I got it, but it has to be one of my go-tos because it is just so easy and super effective the way it applies orange and teal in your video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my basic color correction. This is where I actually am cool with using my basic color correction. I'm gonna bump my contrast. I'm gonna decrease the shadows a bunch. And then I'm just basically gonna decrease the whites a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back here to my my creative and set this to orange and teal two and you can see already off the bat it created a sick orange and teal LUT that you can easily apply create some nice color grading effects and with that guys that is our tutorial on how you can basically get a very nice simple color grade really easy straight off the bat and with that here are the final results If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching. Really, it means the world. If you managed to find any value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Make sure to turn the notification bell on for updates on future tutorials like this. Seriously, it means the world. And once again, if you haven't checked out 11percent.net yet, make sure to check out 11percent.net. Seriously, I am not joking. Check it out, check it out. We are constantly dropping preset packs there. Absolutely insane stuff there. And matter of fact, because you guys stayed to the end of the video, if you guys use this promo code right here, you can get an exclusive 11% off your first purchase. 11% off, y'all heard that. It's probably one of the best investments for any video editor because especially nowadays, you know, we have zero time editing. So might as well save yourself some time while editing these videos and check out 11percent.net to cop some fire ass preset packs. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.